So the other day we talked about basically some ways you can you know fix your iPhone battery health or stop your iPhone battery health from degrading a ton. But there are a lot of you out there who are honestly breaking your iPhone while you're sleeping and you would never even think about these things which is so crazy. And this all ties in pretty much nicely with your battery health of your iPhone. So with your battery, we all know iPhones have batteries, every other iPhone device out there for the most part has a battery as well. And what happens is over time batteries degrade. This is very common. It is not just an iPhone problem, but there have been a few features Apple has added for the past few years and one more recently that I would highly recommend you all to check out. So first of all, what I would recommend doing is making your way over to your iPhone and go into your iPhone settings just like this. You then want to go ahead and scroll down until you see your battery settings. So scroll down until you see battery, which is right there. And what you want to do here is you will see this battery health and charging little option come up. This is probably the most important option you need to go ahead and pretty much kind of configure. So what I would recommend doing here is go ahead and clicking on that option and you have two options at the very bottom. So you will see this optimized battery charging and you will see this clean energy charging. So first of all, with optimized battery charging, a lot of you may know this, but a lot of you may have also forgotten as well. So under optimized battery charging, what it says is to reduce battery aging, iPhone learns from your daily charging and it will basically tune the charging up to basically past 80%. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically, when you charge your iPhone overnight, which a majority of us basically do, we will use our iPhone throughout the day. Then when our iPhone gets down to like, you know, whatever, 20%, 30% at the end of the day, we will go ahead and plug it into the charger and then it'll go ahead and charge. What happens is over time, the batteries will go ahead and basically just fast charge up to 100%. Now, this isn't the best way to keep your battery health at 100% or keep it as high as possible. The reasoning for that is because your device will pretty much, you know, if you're going through and just, I guess, charging your phone very fast, fast, it's going to go ahead and degrade that battery. So what Apple does instead is that they fast charge up to 80%, then it goes ahead and learns from your specific experience of using your phone, and it'll learn that you go ahead and pretty much sleep at, you know, whatever, 12 a.m., and then you wake up at like 7 a.m. or whatever, it'll go ahead and take its time to charge up to that specific point, and that is where this specific optimized battery charging thing enables you to go ahead, and even if you're wirelessly charging your phone or whatever, and this is going to be the best way to go ahead and basically keep your iPhone from not basically, you know, reducing its battery health like crazy. Now there's also this new clean energy charging feature as well that I would honestly recommend enabling. So it's not really going to affect your iPhone too much, but it says in your region, iPhone will try to reduce the carbon footprint by selecting charging when lower carbon emissions, you know, electricity is available. This is another cool thing that if you want to go ahead and enable, it'll go ahead and it'll slow down the charging as well but it'll learn from your experience. And if it knows that you're going to wake up at like 8 or 9 a.m., it doesn't really matter if your phone is always at 100%, if I'm being honest. It'll probably just stop charging, and that's basically all I'll have to do. So those are some ways I would probably recommend if you want to keep your iPhone for as long as possible, some things I would recommend taking a look at. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.